In this video, let's see how to do this axonometric section in less than 10 minutes. Let's jump straight into the video. This is a SketchUp model of Andalusia Museum. I got this model from Exemplary Architecture by Vinicius Hoves Ramos. Excuse me if I butchered the name. So let's start by cutting a section using the section plane. I just slid it to a place where the section is bit detailed and somewhat interesting. Whereas in your case, you should place the section plane where you want to explain. Once you are happy with the angle, save it as a scene by clicking on this plus icon on the scenes toolbar. To select a color scheme for your illustration, we can go to colors.co. Here you can start generating color palettes within seconds. Using the spacebar, you can toggle through the palettes. You can directly copy the color code and bring it into Photoshop. I have selected these two colors for this image. I started applying the colors as material inside SketchUp. Instead of double clicking and going inside the group and applying the material, you can select the material using the color picker tool and go to edit tab and change the texture by clicking on this icon. I am painting the whole model blue and the floor plates red. I am leaving the glass material untouched. Sometimes if the model is in default material, you can't change the texture. You have to select that group and apply the color as a new material. Now repeat this process a few more times till the model is painted completely in blue and red. Once this is done, go to the scene that you have saved already by clicking over here. And go to view and hide the axis and go to edge style and make sure the edges is turned on. Then go to the styles panel on the right. Then click on this icon and uncheck everything except edges and change the edges color to white. And click on this icon and then change the color of the section fill and section lines to white. I also removed the sky and turned the background color to a dark gray. Don't forget to update the scene after you make any change. Then go to file export 2D graphics. Select the location where you want to export the image and before hitting export, go to options and uncheck this and change the value to 4K or 5K. Then hit OK and export. Sorry, add the small step before exporting. Go to camera and enable parallel projection. Zoom in to your preference, then export. Now open V-Ray Asset Editor. Change the quality to high and turn on the denoiser and toggle on material override. I change the color to off-white. In render output, change the image width to 4000. These are the settings for final render. When you are taking test renders, turn off the denoise and bring down the quality according to your system spec. And change the image width to 800. Now click on this light icon. Go to the sunlight, scroll down and increase the size multiplier value to around 100 to make the shadows much more soft. Now hit render. You can also change the direction of the sun to move the shadows. Once you are happy with the output, change the settings back to high quality, then take the final render. Click on the save icon to export the render. Let's open Photoshop and drag and drop these two images. Make sure they are overlaid properly. Using the crop tool, I change the composition to a portrait. Then change the styrofoam render to multiply to bring in the soft shadows and add a small 3D rendered look to the illustration. You can try different overlay options. I created a new layer and started to draw a shape marking the ground beneath the section and filled it with an even darker shade of blue. I started merging the image with the background to cover the whole composition using color fill. Then using mask, I started blending the color fill with the render. The illustration looks fine, but I felt the building looked empty without the furniture and people. So I went back to SketchUp to add these stylized components. I have explained more about them in this video. Take a look at it in your free time. You will find many more useful assets here. You can help us make more videos and support the channel by purchasing our products that you like. Now back to the video. Start placing them wherever you want and export the same scene again, this time with people in it. Bring it into Photoshop and scale it to overlay properly. I also added the name of the building on top left and the title of the image. 
I wanted to add some callouts, so I brought in the vertical guides and placed them where I want. And I started to draw dashed lines in white. Then I labeled those spaces. I don't know if I'm labeling them correctly, but it's fine for now. As a final touch, I also added a bird just to bring some fun. This is the final result. Hope you all found something useful. See you all in the next video.